Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to take a look at the sports sample from Unreal Engine's motion design tools and show how you can use the graphics in that sample for live streaming with OBS over here. So we're going to use NDI as the main conduit and it turns out that the sample project is already set up to use NDI. So that should be pretty straightforward and just to show a quick example of this in action, I have one of the default rundowns open and this is the lower thirds rundown and so if I take in one of these lower thirds it's going to appear right here and I can take next and take next again and so as you can see this would be perfect for live streaming with these graphics so let's take that out and start over from scratch Okay, so everything's back to where things started out for me with uh, OBS working and I have the sports sample open for Unreal Engine, but I haven't accessed any of the scenes or the rundowns. Now, for this to be used with NDI for live streaming with OBS, there's a couple things you are going to need installed. Uh, one is going to be the NDI tools. You can go to ndi.video slash tools or just Google that and make sure you install the Windows package for that. This is completely free and this will give you the NDI framework for being able to have video transfer over uh, network protocols. And then in order for OBS to be able to receive NDI video, I, I'm using the distro AV from GitHub. So you can search for distro AV and uh, this GitHub has all of the uh, code that you'll need and instructions on installing that for use with OBS. So with those installed, now in OBS, I can go ahead and in my video sources, I can add an NDI source so that I can use it in my live streaming broadcasts. So with the infrastructure in place, now we want to go ahead and, and start getting graphics going in Unreal Engine and have them appear over here in our OBS. So I'm going to open this demo rundown, lower thirds uh, rundown. So I'll double click. And so this rundown is all lower thirds graphics. In particular, I'm going to start with these right here. If I expand this template, this is team neutral. And so if I use the preview for right now, let's select this one and preview in. We just get this like team lower thirds and I can preview next. And all of this is being played just inside Unreal Engine. None of this is being broadcast in any way, but this gives us a little preview. All right, I'll preview out that. Now, what we want to do is be able to broadcast that over NDI, and this particular rundown is already configured for that. You can see right here there is a channel zero. That's a broadcast channel that's been pre-configured. We can access the setup for this channel by clicking on the broadcast button. Now with broadcast open, we can see that we have channel zero and it's configured to send over NDI. The NDI, if I select that, is going to have a source name of Unreal Engine Output. So that is what's configured and I can click start all channels here or if I know that this is already set up, I could activate those channels from the main rundown screen right here and just use start all channels. So once I've clicked that and I have a green light here for channel zero, then I know that channel zero is broadcasting whatever I take in for broadcast. So again, if I do a preview, this is not being broadcast. I can go back to my broadcast here and look at the output channel. Nothing's there. But if I take in, well now this is being brought in and it's being broadcast to the broadcast channel. In this case we have Daring Hairs going out the NDI. So now the trick is to get this broadcast with its alpha channel into OBS. So here in my video sources I'm going to click the plus button and I'll choose NDI source and I'll just call this UE Sports. And for a source name, I click this drop down, and sure enough, here's the name of my desktop and the Unreal Engine output, that is the channel zero output. So if I select that, sure enough, we see the output here, and I can say okay. And now I have this overlay available in OBS. Now normally I would probably cover the screen with this output so that uh, you know this lower thirds would be uh, you know, essentially in the right spot if I was full screen. Of course, I'm just in a corner here so that we can see all of this demo. So all I'm gonna do is reduce the size of this and position that over my video output. And there we go. And so 
that's it. So anything I do now with the takes will show up here. Now again, I can do preview next and see what's coming up next. And now I know Mach 10 will be next. And over here, we haven't impacted our broadcast yet. Knowing that I've got Mach 10 coming up, I can now go ahead and say take next and we'll go through that transition. And that's it. So I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.